my personal cleaning boy. Clean it good. You missed the spot. I was gonna say that. One dollar. One dollar? Free 99. So let me tell you. You got a view of the ocean? Actually, I was supposed to finish paying this off over a week ago and I forgot. So it's a good thing we even have a spot. Oh my God. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and actually, we got a spot pretty close to the beach. So I don't know how we managed that. Okay, so we're going to go up here, make a right. And we're going to go in to the right of the um, roundabout. We're gonna follow Miami Trail. Then when we see Florida Trail, we're gonna go up, come back around and do a pull through there. Nice. Get you one of these it's right after you set up, don't you? Take a little squig. A whole lot of wind on these parts out here. Yeah. Check it out, y'all. Did you already show folks? No. We got a little peekaboo, little peekaboo beach view right there. That's how close we are to the ocean. Elena probably has the best view because she can see the ocean from her bunk bed. Okay, this is a campsite, or lack thereof. What do you mean lack thereof? It's destroyed. We have nobody to the right side of us. And then, no one's here yet, but we pretty much have all the space we need. I got the black tank hooked up since we had to take showers last night. Well, we didn't have to, but we wanted to take showers. So we got the water, we got the electric, we got the 50 amp set up there. Now let's go uh, take a quick peek at the ocean. Ooh, I can shoot some hoops. I got my ball. Gonna be shooting some hoops this week. I've been having an itch. I told Jawan we need to start playing again because mm -hmm. uh, we haven't played in years. By the way, this is a uh, bike week, so that's why all those motorcycles were uh, all over the place. This is the last weekend. It started earlier this week and it ends this weekend. So, might be an uh, interesting activity going on here. When I was a medic, um, we used to get all types of motorcycle accidents all the time during bike week. We hated this week. Yeah, that's us right there. Man, you picked up a good spot this time, girl. This is gonna be a fun week. So excited. Keep watching. We got a, a new addition to the family. It is a little goofy. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but it's small. I needed something that I can carry in the camper van once we get that up and running. I don't want to lug around big old bikes. So, uh, and I want something light and small that I can just throw in the back of the truck or throw in, you know, into the RV. And, uh, so this is what I came up with. I know, it's goofy, it's goofy, I know. I don't, I don't care, I don't care. I'm just trying to like, you know, enjoy myself. 
So uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go test this puppy out. This thing rides pretty quick. I literally got the last two at Costco. Actually, I had to go to two different Costco's to get these. So yeah, hopefully uh, they'll restock, but supply chain issues are real. Good morning, guys. I, I don't know if you remember on um, one of the previous videos, I tried to clean this awning, this really nasty awning. And uh, the stuff I had at home that I typically use at home did not work. So I decided to try some of the RV stuff. This is an awning cleaner by Thet Thetford. I've looked up a few reviews on this. It seems to work pretty well. You basically just spray this on real good, roll it up for about 30 minutes or so, and then open it back up and you might have to scrub a little bit. I don't feel like scrubbing today, I'm feeling lazy. So I'm gonna just spray it on, see if it just makes it look a little bit better. Because this just looks nasty. Kind of embarrassing to leave it like that. So hopefully this will help. And if it needs a little bit more help later on, I'll, I'll try to brush it off uh, with my uh, car wash brush. So yeah, so just stay tuned for those results if you're interested. Alright guys, well, maybe I'm being too harsh, but this, this is crap, okay? Look, look, I even let it sit for about an hour the second time, and I scrubbed it again a second time. So, I don't know, I'm not pleased with this product. It did help loosen up some of the black crud, but I mean, look at this. I am not um, happy. This stuff was like 10 bucks. Yeah, pretty much a big waste of my hard earned money. I guess I might have to try some regular bleach and water. I'll, I'll have to Google to make sure it doesn't ruin the, the awning material. So do a little research on that before I do that, but I'm not really happy with this uh, Thetford awning cleaner. So, you know, to each his own, do your own research, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. All right guys, as you saw, I put in a little bit of work this morning. A little bit more work than I care to, but um, now it's time to chill. This will be my view for the next several hours. Do a little people watching. latch pull it up too high no turn it around there you go squeeze it okay Feel good yeah put the kickstand up don't be like elena riding with the kickstand down okay so power. Uh-huh. Does it take it's off? On. Off. So you know it's on. The little dots come on. Right? Um, if you just want a pedal assist, you just pedal the power on. Don't even don't you don't have to do anything. And this, you know, these are obviously brakes. So they're obviously the brakes. What's the difference between pedal assist and just like if you want power, if you don't want to pedal, you turn it. Oh. Feel it? Uh-huh. Turn it back towards you. Okay. And that's how you just it has a little motor. Okay. So let me see you go around. Well, Try pedaling first. Just pedal. Like a regular bike. With power on. The power's on? Yeah. Hey, go around the circle. Go this way. Go this way. Go around the circle. Pedal. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Pedal faster. Do you feel it? 
my wife is uh, not the most coordinated. Pedal faster! Pedal. What? Do you feel a, do you feel the assist? Okay, now now just do the motor now. Just do the throttle. Wow. Okay. okay. That's what we're trying to do. Here's the thing. You're you filming me, but you haven't told our viewers about my abilities on a regular bicycle. I did tell them. So you're trying to encourage me to fall? No, I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to teach you how to get a feel for a bike. Okay, well, I'm telling you. Get you get a feel for it around a circle <laughs> on an unstable area. That I mean, like you know, a kind of challenging area so that you can get I'm comfortable. I'm not ready for that. You should, I don't even have a helmet. You should do a few I'm more circles. To kill me. I'm good. Let's go. We're at a campground. We're not on a street. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna get run over by a motor. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see what I have to deal with. All right, let's go. Oh, it is on. It's full throttle. <laughs> I was worried about you. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is her first time riding this what? Jetson. I said this is the first time you're riding the Jetson. Oh. It's effortless, right? Yeah, it's nice. If you want to go fast, just pedal faster. She is so slow right now. Oh my God, so slow. Take the turn slow. When you get to the ends, and you're gonna make that left, you take it slow. That's when it um, gets a little dicey. Just checking out which campsite I wanna get next time. Right between these two palm trees. Ooh, I like this spot. Look at that. Get up in the morning and wake up to this. That is cool. Yeah, this spot right here is gonna be. How you doing? I wonder if they'll let us move. 5.30. Would you wanna move or no? You know what? I don't think we fit here. We're probably too long, right? Yeah. Well, they got a fifth wheel over here. Hit the throttle. Nice! She's off! Nice! You like it? No. No, you don't like it? <laughs> he has these all over him. Good morning, guys. Another beautiful, pleasant day here at Myrtle Beach. Had a pretty productive morning. Got my little workout in on the beach. Cleaned out the black tank. Since we've been using it for several days now, I don't like filling it up for one. And I don't want, you know, I don't want to leave all that stuff just sitting in there getting funky. Did a nice little black tank flush this morning. Got all that fecal matter out of there. And now I'm on my way to the uh, basketball court. Do a little hooping, it's been a minute, so wanna get back into it. My view is only steps away. Literally, gotta love RV life. shorts thank you for picking these out for me i love them <laughs> they're so nice i love showing my knees <laughs> oh they're a little too short for you they're not that short what the hell is that
This is like a legitimate like store. Yeah. This is not a Even corner. Have, like plumbing parts, I think. Yeah. Like this even puts Walmart out to shame. I mean Walmart doesn't even have that big of a section either, but this is cool. They even got Black Street Remover. That's a video about that's coming up soon. I'm gonna try that out. Not that particular one, but a different one. Wow. Look at all the hardware. And they have a whole fishing section here. Look at all the magnets. Coffee. Actually, I can use some coffee. Ooh. Got everything. Huh? So they have a whole Gatorade. They got everything. We got some wine, margarita mix. Look at that. Oh wow. We could do cheat day here, man. We need to we need to stay another day. We should stay another day. We, we could leave at the end of the day. All the merch. Yeah, this is, like, this is, the best. this is a good long term, I mean, full timer spot. Like, who wants to spend like a couple months? Yeah, this is. This amazing. is an ideal spot for that. Look, look at this. Fresh fruit. Look at that. Fresh produce. Okay. So, this gets the award for the best general store at any campground I've been to in the past, what, two, seasons, two camping seasons, right? Yeah, so we specifically went to try to find light blue moon at the local Walmart and they didn't have it, but they had it here. So, good job, Myrtle Beach Travel Park. This is like literally one of my favorites. And we've been to a lot of parks. Okay, maybe, I don't know if it's, my best and favorite part but it's, it's within my top five i just remember one of the things that i don't like about this park there is nowhere to start a campfire no fire rings that come with the site you have to bring your own either solo stove or some kind of campfire ring i don't have the space to carry that around so that's one of the negatives This is why we camp. I think I'd throw that in there. Good morning, guys. This is our last day here at Myrtle Beach Travel Park. So check guys at 11. So we up a little bit early. Gonna hit the beach. We're gonna do a nice little workout before we start wrapping things up here and headed to another park a state park in uh, south carolina in myrtle beach actually still exploring ready oh no, what are we, doing? we might look a little silly out here but who cares 